Hey everybody, welcome back to World of Warcraft, and uh, yeah, this is a, a special occasion where because of the new patch, they have added a couple of new heritage armors. Uh, the Orc, which I have uh, at this time already done, and I'm doing this one next. Uh, the Humans. <laughs> the Humans. Humans. Alright, um, so... I only have three human characters on my uh, alliance server here. Um, two of them are not really in a position to do this. Um, they One is not even level 50. One is, but doesn't have Exalted because I used one of my boosts on her. You know, one of those that they give you in the Perona expansion. I was like, yeah, sure, I'll boost this character. So then there was only one other human character I had. It's this one here that I've been messing around with and leveling. Um, she's basically my... Um, Frost Mage. I was basically trying to uh, create a version of Jaina. Like, I, I sometimes tend to make characters based off of other characters. So, like, my human warrior is a Fury that I have based off of Varian. And then there's this one, a Frost Mage only, who is based off Jaina. I even tried to kind of make her look kind of like Jaina. You can kind of uh, see how she looks here. She's uh, got a very odd transmog setup here. Um, that was just kind of putting some pieces together here and there. I wouldn't say it's great, but that's what, uh, I hope this quest line, re you know, fixes. So, anyways. In order to be able to do this, you just have to have a human character that is level 50 and exalted with Stormwind. And so once you do that, I believe this, that's when you then get this here, which I logged in and I got this message. Hmm. It's... A rather inconspicuous letter with a plain unmarked wax seal. And inside it said, Urgent Stormwind Summons. Janix, there is an urgent mission that requires a seasoned champion of Stormwind such as yourself. Quickly, meet me behind Stormwind Keep and tell no one. The paper's not signed, only branded with an insignia of SI7. So it's clearly Matthias Shaw. <laughs> I mean... For a guy who's all about being secretive, putting that seal on there is kind of a dead giveaway that I know who this is from. So, anyways. Uh, for extra context, in case you're curious, this is, character is not max level. She is only level 53, and she, you know, has the heritage armor, so we'll see how, the, how much that helps her out. This is the current build I have for her at the moment, just kind of messing around with it. I eventually want to put points here so I can get Glacial Spike... Um, but yeah, I don't know how serious, you know, I really don't do that much with this character. I just kind of, you, she's one of those alt characters I have for farming, but I do like, this is one of the things I like about collecting mounts is that I have a certain, uh, selection of mounts I think are appropriate for her. One of which of course is this one right here. I mean, if Jaina herself uses it, I figure it's good enough for this character. And then we've got, of course, one of my favorite mounts of all time, the Ice Brood Frost <laughs> the Ice Bound Frost Brood, thank you, Vanquisher. Love this mount so much. I think it's very appropriate for her. And then we've got Invincible. We've got the Snowstorm Bear. And a mount that I was very happy to get, the Glacial Tide Storm. I was so happy when my guild, we were actually farming Jaina to get this mount, and I was one of the lucky ones to actually get this mount when we got our kill on Mythic Jaina. Of course, that was on a farming kill, not like the first time we killed or anything, so... Anyways. I've already heard good things about this questline. Now, I loved the Orc Heritage Armor questline, so I'm hoping that this is also going to be very enjoyable. But then again, We'll see, because I'm not as invested in the humans and the alliance compared to the orcs and the, and the horde, so. Hey, Shaw. Oh. A Defias thief? Uh-oh. I think I have a feeling I know what we're going to be dealing with here. We fight in the shadows. It's good that you are here. Line Guard Ensemble unlocks the appearance of the Line Guard Ensemble upon completion of the Heritage quest line. Look to the shadows. This is a top secret... Mission, Janix. We've had a break in. A powerful historical artifact was stolen from the keep, and it looks like the Defias Brotherhood is to blame. We caught one thief, but the other got away. But I don't like it. My gut tells me that there's more. 
I've called in a specialist on the Brotherhood. Meet us in the basement of the Lion's Pride Inn in Goldshire. All right. Sleep with one eye open. This was a very bold move by the Defias Brotherhood. Especially since they've been relatively quiet since the last attack of the Legion. The artifact they stole. I shudder to think what they intend with it. We must move quickly. Meet you there, Shaw. I like how he summoned his own mount. Also, don't expect any, like, top-of-the-line Frost Mage gameplay from me here. Of the three specs that I play Mage... Um, well, let me, let me put it this way. The one I play the most is Fire. I've messed around with both Arcane and Frost, and they've just never, like, made me fall in love with the specs compared to Fire. But I've always wanted to love Frost and Arcane. I just... I don't know what it is. They're just... They seem to be lacking something that just makes me want to l love playing the spec more and more, but... Anyways. I'm just saying, like, for one thing, I'm at level 53, so I don't exactly have a, f a complete build here for this character. I also wouldn't know what a great build. I usually tend to just pick stuff that I like. So, you know, for example... Some people will say that Comet Storm is not great and not worth picking up, but I still like to pick it because it looks awesome. I mean, I'm calling down a storm of ice comets on the ground at my target. How can that not be cool? It's the same thing with Glacial Spike. I'm summoning a giant Glacial Spike to BAM! Hit my target in the face. It's cool. Whether or not it's super, super good or not is not really the same thing compared to, man, that was awesome. You know, it looks great, you know. Sometimes you just kind of pick abilities that you'd love or are fun to do or just look awesome compared to whether or not they're actually, like, top of the line Over here, champion. Picks. Let me know when you're ready to speak to our informant. Uh, sure. I apologize if this is a bit of a surprise to you. To most, she was last known to have fallen in the dead mines. But I'm not quite so easy to kill. Hi, Vanessa. Wonderful to meet you, so-called hero. Vanessa. I wonder what this would be like if I was on my rogue. Fun, of course. During the Legion's last invasion, Vanessa was a member of a secretive order that aided in the defense of our world. Since then, the Defias have been quiet. I want to remind you guys that both of these characters were part of the rogue questline. Steal the Drake Fire Amulet from Stormwind Keep. The what? If you're going to pin something on me, you have to do better than stringing some random words together. Back in Legion. Like, Vanessa was one of the first, like, followers you could actually get as a bodyguard, as a rogue in Legion. And then Matthias Shaw was also part of the storyline in, in that Order Hall. So I'm just saying that I would like to know if you come here as a rogue, that they would have unique dialogue. Like, hello, Shadowblade. You know, like, it's good to see you again. You know, or something like along those lines. What can I do for you? Nothing will stand in my way. My few interactions with Vanessa told me that she isn't interested in the banditry of the old Defias Brotherhood. To her, the Brotherhood meant supporting the downtrodden, those that Stormwind had left behind. That I can respect. But most of her Brotherhood continue to engage in thievery from innocent travelers. That's not revolution. That's highway robbery. She insists that she tries to stop them. The job's not done. In this, yet. I trust Vanessa's word. I do not believe that she knows what what the Drake Fire amulet is. Some of the story about Onyxia was made public, but not all. Perhaps even you do not know. I'll explain everything for both of you. Look to the shadows. Keep your wits about you. Yeah. Tell Shaw that you're ready to hear about the story, the history of the Drake Fire amulet. The job's not done yet. A few years after the Third War, Marshal Reginald Windsor suspected there was evil in Stormwind. Where others saw chaos, he saw treachery in the corrupt dealings of the nobles and the rise of the Defias Brotherhood. Through perseverance, he discovered a grand conspiracy 
leading to the hallowed halls of Stormwind Keep itself. That day, he confronted the most powerful noble in Stormwind, Lady Katrana Prestor. With her lies exposed, she burst forth, revealing her true form, Onyxia, daughter of Deathwing. Windsor laid down his life to free Stormwind, shattering Onyxia's hold on the city. After she fled, we discovered the cursed amulet she had used to control and persuade so many. Concerns arose that Onyxia's power may still linger within, and so it was locked away and forgotten. Until now. You know what I love about that? That whole cutscene? Is that that is for newer players that don't know the story that was going on back in the days of Vanilla WoW. Now, I think you possibly can still... I actually have not heard whether or not you can actually re-experience this in Classic. That's not really something I've actually checked. I think it was part of the Onyxia Raid um, attunement questline, if, I, if I've heard this correctly. But I've heard about that whole sequence, about how um, you as the player could actually walk through Stormwind with him after you find him and save him. I think he was locked away in a dungeon by the group that Onyxia was a part of. And so he knows about what's going on. He's going to go and expose her. And we walk through all of Stormwind with him uh, to kind of like escort him through uh, to that point. And just a reminder that that was, along with her, that was Anduin and Bolvar Four Dragon. Just in case you forgot that those were the three that were in the throne room of Stormwind at the time of the of Vanilla. So what I love about that is that that is a great way to inform perhaps more recent players about some of that stuff. Because I myself never got to experience that personally back in the day because I didn't play WoW back in Vanilla. And I haven't played that much of Classic to experience that because Classic is not really my thing. But I love that that's such a great way for us to be able to get familiar with that particular part of the story. And especially because, well, let's just say Vanilla was not exactly known too much for the story. I mean, it was there, but it wasn't really on presented as well back then as, it, it, as they present the story nowadays. So, yeah, that kind of stuff, I'm really in favor that they went ahead and did that. Mm. Oh, this is interesting. I will have my revenge someday. More information about the Defias Brotherhood. Exists for many reasons, but they would not exist without Onyxia. The first war saw Stormwind raised to the ground. Edwin Van Cleef led the Stone Mason's Guild in rebuilding the city, but when they were paid, they were to be paid. The House of Nobles refused. It was chaos at the time. But we now know how Onyxia, as Lady Prestor, worked behind the scenes. She convinced the House that the Stone Mason's work was poor and they were being ripped off. Then, she went to the stonemasons and convinced them that the House of Nobles despised them and would never pay them their due. Her magical influence was a subtle thing, not overt mind control. She could not force someone to do something that they did not already want to do somewhere inside. Onyxia played both sides against each other so well, a riot erupted in the city. A thrown rock struck Queen Tiffin Wren and took her life. That was Varian's wife. Anduin's mother. In a world of wars and demons, it was a cruelly simple fate. King Varian was furious and banished the stonemasons from the city. They fled to Westfall, where Onyxia continued to stoke their rage by using her influence to cut off supplies and support to the region. They became the Defias Brotherhood, and under Edwin Van Cleef's reign, they turned to banditry and murder to recover the gold owed to them. How do you feel about the Defias Brotherhood? It's easy to sympathize with the plight of the Stonemasons Guild. It is not so easy to overlook the banditry and murders committed by the Defias. Their goals never justified their methods. But that does not mean that their goals to see the Stonemasons paid to help the people of Westfall should be forgotten. King Anduin made strides in addressing these, those issues, but for many, it will never be enough. All we can do, do is keep trying. Again, another typo, Blizzard. 
forming a working relationship with Vanessa Van Cleef herself, that sounds like another step in the right direction. What about Vanessa? Ah, uh, yes. What is Stormwind City Spymaster doing having a chat with one of the most notorious criminal leaders known to men, instead of, say, arresting her on sight? Good question. Vanessa is not an innocent woman. The furrow brows, the dead minds, there is much that she should answer for. But war changes all of us, and during the invasion of the Burning Legion, she took up her blades and poisons in defense of Azeroth. I saw her bleed for our world. Maybe it's just wishful thinking. Maybe I'm just going soft. Or maybe... because I knew her father. <sighs> Whatever the reason, I believe that there is good in her. She cares deeply for the people of Westfall, and she is not her father. Someday, she might actually listen to reason. So, did you know Edwin Van Cleef? Yes, I knew him. What about this amulet? We don't know where or how Nixia first acquired her dragon's eye, as the amulet was first called. But while she had it on her person, her words were like honey to all that heard them. Myself included, I remember a sort of fog around her. It never occurred to me to question a single thing that she said, regardless of my normally cynical nature. Mind you, our wills were still our own. It was the combination of her cunning and her magic that gave her power. I find that amusing that he says that, because let's just say that her brother, Nefarian, was m probably more cunning and, you know, more subtle and deceitful than she was. But anyways... She knew that what you wanted to hear and how to push you in the direction that you were already facing. The amulet could not force anyone to do something that they didn't already want to do somewhere inside. When Onyxia was in the height of her power as Lady Prestor, she placed the dragon's eye directly on Bovar for dragon. That seemed to enthrall him even more deeply than the rest of us. But then Windsor arrived and in the confrontation the amulet was shattered. Onyxia fled to her lair and locked the door behind her. But the key was within her broken amulet. The dragon's eye was reforged into the Dra Drakefire amulet, and it was used to enter her lair, where she was finally defeated by a group of champions, 40 of them, that uh, called for things like more dots and pointed out how many whelps there were. Oh, sorry. Afterward, the Drakefire amulet was returned to Stormwind, where it was kept in safekeeping, lest its power linger. I like how he's telling the story of the attunement quest chain, that... Uh, that I'll bet some old school players are hearing this and they're just like, I remember that. I remember that. Like, I would love to confer with some of my um, uh, fellow WoW players that are that Let's I know are more, more old action. school players than I am when it came to, comes to actually playing this. So, Vanessa, let me ask about you. I suppose we have not met. Again, I wish I my rogue was a human and I was and I brought her here. By the way, notice how many other players are actually here doing this. I love this. They're either watching the cutscene or they are checking the dialogue stuff just like I am. I am Vanessa Van Cleef, daughter of Edwin Van Cleef, who was once head of the Stone Masons Guild. When the House of Nobles betrayed the Guild and King Varian Wren exiled us, my father created the Defias Brotherhood to get justice. Stormwind ordered him killed. It, was happen it happened right in front of me. When I was old enough, I took up his mantle. Back then, I stood by his every action, hand on heart. I followed his footsteps, and I realize now I made the same mistakes. By confusing revenge and justice, I hurt the people of Westfall. People who have no one else to stand up for them. Things are different now. What about this time that you fought the Legion at, at our side? I've seen men do terrible things to one another. I've seen my people starve. I've seen my father killed. I've seen my own revolution fall apart at my feet. The torture and pain the Legion sought to bring to our world, that was something else entirely. I saw many people die in those days. You can't come back from that as the same person. What about Shaw? Uh, the spy master for the crown has some principle, I'll give him that. The fact that he still hasn't arrested me means he can keep his word, at least. We have an arrangement. I keep the Defias on a short leash and he doesn't go after us. Luckily for him, I'm not that interested in leading my brotherhood to murder and robbery anymore. If the, only the bulk of the Defias actually felt the same. 
It's getting harder and harder to keep them from hurting innocent people. Tell me more about the Defias Brotherhood. The Defias Brotherhood are vigilantes fighting for the people of Westfall when no one else will. At least, we should be. Many would call us bandits. In my father's time, I have to admit it was true. His righteousness turned quickly to vengeance and greed. But that doesn't mean his anger wasn't justified. As long as there is suffering in Westfall, there will always be Defias. I tried to lead them to be a force for revolution and good. And now I fear that they are too used to the life of the bandit. <laughs> we all have our own versions of the past, don't we? I don't care if some dragon lady had a magic amulet. It wasn't complete mind control. The nobles already hated the common people. The Stonemasons Guild would never have needed to turn to banditry and become the Defias Brotherhood if not for them. Right away. Nothing. Whatever is going on, way. I don't like it. Last thing we need is this dragon lady's power corrupting everyone again. Whoever did this must have known much about Nixia. Shaw mentioned this. Reginald Windsor, he was the only one to suspect Lady Prestor. Well, maybe his friends in the Burning Steps have more of his information. She must have had allies. Anything that points us to people close to her would help. Check it out, will you? Looks like we're heading to the Burning Steps. I will have my Vanessa, we must consider the possibility that there is something going on in your Defias that you don't know about. It's true, I haven't been home in a while. It's possible they are... Restless. Anixia's power to manipulate still lies in that amulet. Who knows the damage it could cause? A riot? A civil war? So we have some distance to fly, so let's go ahead and uh, do it in style. I think someone once asked me, if you could pick one single mount of all the mounts in this game that you could have in real life, which one would it be? And I thought about it, and it honestly came down to two choices. Either Invincible, or this baby right here. And then I thought to myself, look, as much as I love Invincible, just imagine what it would be like to actually have one of these things in real life. I'm sure a lot of people wouldn't even allow it or tolerate it, but still, the idea of having this undead ice dragon as, like, a companion that would carry you around as, you know, as your mount, as well as, like, a loyal companion. Like, think of Nisha with Rexar. Yeah, no, I could get behind that. <laughs> hey, Illidan. Every time I see that in the, in the sky, I, I, I always be like, oh, hi, Illidan, because I know he's on the other side of that. Ah, Blackfire. Black Rock Mountain. <laughs> oh, man. We still keep going. In fact, my Volpera is sitting right there right now on my other server, waiting for me to do my video on uh, Black Rock Depths. She's just chilling right there in position, ready to do that. <laughs> yep, the Burning Steps, the place that was forever changed when uh, they accidentally summoned Ragnaros to this place. Because his summoning caused all this damage and destruction. A lot of people died as a result. I didn't realize it was so windy up here. But I am flying through the air, so... I guess it should sound like a bunch of wind is kind of rushing past my head. Look at all the players that are here because of this quest line. Interest you in the fight? Eh, uh, what you be wanting? <clears throat> the Drakefire amulet has been stolen. Did Windsor have any other information on it, or Nixia? Uh, the what? <clears throat> You drunk? You're not making it a lick of sense. Windsor. Reginald Windsor. What else did he know? I know you're drunk, but come on, sober up for a moment, will ya? Windsor? Oh, hey, Windsor, ah, oh, what a fine fella. Going to the dirt now. 
took a whole dragon to finally take him down, I heard. Got it all in head that some fine noble lady was actually a dragon, and then he was right. <laughs> oh, Windsor always was something special. Yes, he was. Please tell me if he knew anything else about the dragon and her stuff. Her stuff? I don't know nothing about her stuff. I did got together what I could find of Windsor's old stuff, though. Thought maybe his family would want it, or maybe Stormwind would put up a memorial or something. But then I found out his family is all dead, and didn't hear nothing from Stormwind. Roger came by and said it was old Bovar Fordragon who did all the work of revealing Nixia. Windsor's old belongings will do. Where did you put them? Hey, now, I weren't done yet. Firstly, some folks come through and say it was Mr. Fordragon that someone... Then someone comes along and says it was some champion that I ain't even ever heard of. And then... And someone even tried to tell me that it was all Varian Rin, rest his fine soul, that confronted Nixia. That's funny, considering that there was a comic that actually tried to change that. To change that it was us... That they change the comic basically tried to talk about the evil twin thing with Varian, um, but that it was also they were trying to say that Varian was the one who took down Nixia instead of us, the players. So I find it amusing that he's basically referencing that. Now, look here, I don't got nothing against old man Rin, and his son seemed fine enough too, but I ain't had a peep about my old pal Windsor, and he didn't get an ounce of credit. But that, that just ain't right. Yes, I agree. It's terrible. Now, please just tell me where you put his stuff. No, I'm not. I'm not letting his memory get taken advantage of again. I shouldn't have left him with those orcs in the first place. Maybe then he'd never have died trying to go after that dragon. I won't let his memory go to waste, John. You won't? Do you promise? Will you, will you get um, one of those fancy memorials in the Stormwind like Old Man Rin's got? Like all the heroes get? Because he was a hero. I'll see what I can do. There better be one that pops up in Stormwind at the end of this quest line. One, because it makes a lot of sense. He deserves one. Two, that would be a really cool thing that all of a sudden, bam, it pops up there for the rest of the game. That would be great. I... Okay. I trust you. What did you want again? Windsor's old stuff, where is it? Ah! Ah, right. Uh, mm, the thing is... Uh, mm, I, I don't exactly have it on myself at the moment. <sighs> what do you mean, you drunken dwarf? Well, you see here, Windsor spent a lot of time at Black Rock Mountain. That's a long way. It's just right over there, actually. A few weeks ago, when I finally was bringing all his stuff I found back here, I was attacked by a giant wolf. Now, before you say anything, understand here that it was the biggest, giantest wolf that I ever did see. Its eyes were the size of my whole body. Its claws were like, like, like something real big like. Trust me, it ain't no wolf you want to mess with. So, I ran, and I might have lost Windsor's stuff along the way. The wolf grabbed the pack and ran back to his den. It's probably long gone, just a chew toy. Off with you. <sighs> Watch your back. Looks like I have some scavenge hunting to do. Let's see. The notes are damp and shredded and nearly unreadable, but a few bits remain. I'm guessing, guessing that is the vicious wolf.
Oh, by the way, in case there are those of you wondering, hey, wait a minute, you're a frost mage. Where's your water elemental? In my opinion, the water elemental hat is crap. <laughs> he barely does any damage at all. He just doesn't feel like he's worth having around, honestly. And getting a 25% uh, increase to damage for a few abilities just seems better than having this worthless water elemental around. He's not like, say, that thing right there. Like, if he was, if he was able to, like, you know, tank for me or such, like, you know, like that guy does for the Warlock, then I would, like, be like, yes! I'm keeping him around, but he doesn't. He just sits there and shoots off water bolts, and they just tickle the enemies. It It's just kind of like, eh, not worth it at all in the slightest. I am getting a kick out of seeing the amount of, uh, players that are showing up here to do this quest line. And people say this game is dead. What's on your mind? My drink always seems to be empty. Why is my drink always empty? She may as well just said, the rum always seems to be gone. Why is the why is the rum always gone? And then he gets up and wob wobbles and goes, "Oh, that's why." Hey, good. Ah, Windsor. Up with you. Hey, ding. <laughs> he blinks barely up at you. So you took down that old warg, did you? Actually, no, I didn't. The other people around me did, and I just collected the pages. <laughs> Well, aren't you the biggest, strongest human I've seen since all Windsor? Well? What are you still doing here? Go take what you found to whoever sent you here in the first place. Alright, I'll go back to Watch Shaw. Your back. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so I have a mage point here. So the way they have this set up, it, it looks like Arcane is kind of in the middle, Fire is on this side because Meteor's over here, and then Frost is more so on this side because Ice Ward's over here, Freezing Cold is over here. So... Hmm. And it's on Frozen Targets, reduce the cooldown. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right, I can give myself Ice Barrier, but what haven't done it yet. Hmm, I like that, having that movement speed after uh, I blink. I want to be able to just kind of get this down here, so... Hmm. Huh. Oh, it's the Night Fae ability. Um... Keep in mind, this character did not join the Night Fae. She actually joined the Necrolords. Now, I don't think it's actually going to show up here in my spell book. Um, yeah. So, she would have had the ability to not only put the shield on herself, but also become that uh, undead mage you could transform into that did like a, like a massive damage boost, which I thought was pretty cool. I don't recall... I think I did hear that Knife was considered to be pretty good for mages. And I guess maybe this was one of the reasons why. While channeling, your mage ability cooldowns are reduced by... Over <laughs> oh, that's interesting. So maybe at some point I'll just kind of like... If I get this character to max level, I'll try and uh, take advantage of that. Hey, Shaw. The job's not done yet. Ragged John is still around, is he? It's been a while since I've sent some agents to check up on him. He's a good man under it all. Now what are those notes? What are these notes? A uh, Clessington? Sleep with one eye open. Look to the shadow. Excellent. Finally something that we can work with. 
Count Clessington is a member of the House of Nobles and a powerful mage. He has fallen on hard times since Anduin cracked down on corruption in Stormwind. I would not put it past him to have something to do with this. He recently purchased an old manor in Duskwood. I'll contact my sources and see what other information I can find. You and Vanessa should go to the manor and investigate. The job's not done yet. Oh, goodness! Could it be that there's a corrupt noble causing trouble in Stormwind? What a surprise. The House of Nobles has seen great strides in rooting out corruption since Anduin's reign. I've overseen much of it myself, Vanessa. Well, clearly it wasn't enough. I want to hear, like, Shaw grumble as she walks away, like... Alright. To Ravenhill! It should be just right over here. When I was uh, actually leveling this character, I actually was doing a decent amount um, of questing in these areas here. Whether it was in Elwyn, Duskwood, Westfall. Not so much Deadwind Pass. Uh, the Red Ridge Mountains, I definitely remember that. thinking this place is a disaster we'll never turn a profit um cecilia what can i do what do you know about the drake fire amulet i will be here that's none of your business attendant stop what are you doing we answer to your father not you curses i knew something wasn't right let's get out of here stranger doing all the work champion i figured you wouldn't want me in your way now, gee thanks vanessa who is this i am cecilia primrose clessington the second at your service now what has happened with the drake fire amulet i want to help my family was once large and prominent in the house of nobles now with war after war it's just me and my father left and my father is a bit old-fashioned. He won't accept that our household just isn't what it used to be. That led him to some questionable decisions, trying to restore us to power. And then King Anduin cracked down the house, and well, things have never been worse for us. I try not to care about all that. I'm just trying to keep a roof over our heads. It doesn't matter to me if it isn't gilded. Always like to spread around the buffs as a mage. So, the Drake Fire Amulet has been stolen. Be safe. I should have known. My father just sent me here to get me out of his way. He's been raving about the Drake Fire Amulet and restoring our family's glory for years. I try to reason with him, but he doesn't listen. Sometimes his obsession scares me. If the amulet has been stolen, I'm certain it was his doing. And I'd wager he took it to Moonbrook, where he's been off doing business. Yes? You have my deepest apologies, friend, for the behavior of my attendants. Though I suppose they were never mine. They're my father's, likely sent with me to keep sent with me to keep me out of his way while he does something terrible. I had hoped that it wouldn't come to this. I'm 
so sorry. Please let me help you stop him. Watch yourself. Words are petty. Right away. Moonbrook? What is this Count Clessington doing at my home? It can't be anything good. I'll signal Shaw. She might make a good make for a good hostage. Let's bring the rich girl too. Meet us there. <laughs> Did you just call me a hostage? Wait. Aren't you Vanessa Van Cleef, leader of the Defias Brotherhood, at your service. Oh dear. Vanessa, please don't hurt Cecilia. not into taking hostages. So I hope you're just joking. But then again, I shouldn't be surprised that Vanessa referred to her, to her as a rich girl. Do you see them? There's more of these agents from Clessington skulking about. I had no idea he brought on so many. This isn't right. Where is everyone? Where is my brotherhood? Look to the shadows. Vanessa, I've been wanting to tell you. I knew your father. Long, long ago, as children. We were friends, even. I know. He spoke of you. You didn't join his cause, so he hated you. Edwin was always a fierce man. But he wasn't always such an angry man. He could be kind, and often remarkably generous. I hope, in the time that you had with him, that kindness still shone through. Growing up, I always thought if I was just good enough... Just strong enough. I could earn that kindness. When he was killed. When you ordered him killed. I lost the chance to ever see that side of him. To prove myself to him. It is never up to a child to earn their parents' kindness. You don't have anything to prove to anyone, Vanessa. Hmm. What can I do for you? Why is it so empty? I will have my revenge someday. It's been a while since I've been home. Something isn't right. My people should be here. I'm going in, but I won't turn down some backup. I never should have left for so long. Nothing will stand in my way. I am ready. These attendants of my father's attacked us the moment we arrived. These are certainly not the kindly servants that I had as a child. These are hired killers. If my father is planning what I think he's planning, we can't let them do this. They will kill everyone in their way. If it's kill or be killed. For Stormwind. Sleep with one eye open. I assume the stay a while and listen is going to be the exact same thing as before, so... Ah, the smell of straw and cow dung. This place brings back a lot of memories. It's probably <clears throat> been a while for you, too, huh? But then again, have you ever seen this place through the eyes of a Defias? Not really. <laughs>
It's too far away. You just tag him and then just kind of like hope that everyone that helps gets a tag and cleans him up. I'm out of range. Back in the day, you could not do this. And see, that right there is why I love Comet Storm. Right, let's see. Is this the hideout over here? I think it is, because I think this is how we used to enter uh, the dungeon. When my father led the Brotherhood, he followed a path of banditry and vengeance. I lead them in order to overthrow a corrupt government that abandoned us. At least I thought I did. But I followed the same path. I let the people of Westfall down. During the Legion invasion, we fought for something greater. The old king died, and it became hard to carry on old grudges. So yeah, this is the path you used to have to take to get to uh, the Deadmines Anduin dungeon. Anduin offered pardons and reparations for former stonemasons and their families. I lost almost all of my best people that day. The ones that remained in the Defias were the rowdy ones, the angry ones, the ones that enjoyed robbing anything in sight. Gotta keep making my way up, it looks like. I'm also angry. I'll never forget my father's death. But in my own attempt at revolution, I hurt the people of Westfall. Like Stormwind did. Like Onyxia did. No reparation is enough. The Stonemasons deserve every coin in every coffer of Stormwind City. Classington will lead us there. Duncan! You weren't even a Stonemason! You joined to be a thief! So, you finally show yourself, Van Cleef. And with a Stormwind dog in tow. See, Defias? See how she will make us all lapdogs of Stormwind. We muster in Northshire. Join us, and we march on Stormwind. For the Defias! The amulet! Dare they? Right away. I should have known. I lost control of the Brotherhood the moment that those pardons were offered. Anyone with principle is long gone. It's only the brutes left now. And Duncan Ratsbun was always the biggest brute of them all. Let's get out of here. If any of these spools try to get in our way, let's teach them a lesson about standing in the path of a Van Cleef. You're slow and I want to get out of here. Take this elixir. Let's go. I'm sorry, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> For five minutes. Whee! I like how she says that we're slow.
gosh, I'm, I, I wonder how many people constantly got lost in this place. I need a target. And stuff like that right there is uh, one of the reasons why I'm like, man, I would actually like to play more Frost Mage. Brotherhood has turned against me. Clessington and Duncan Ratsman lead them to attack Northshire, and then Stormwind itself. Northshire? They'll wipe out the new recruits posted there. <laughs> AKA the new players. What or players we... making new characters. I hope their souls find peace. I wish it didn't have to be this way. I will be here. Words are petty. It feels odd, and yet... This feels a long time coming. Since fighting the Legion, I have felt distant from the Brotherhood. More aid started to, tr to trickle into Westfall, and while it will never be enough, the spark of revolution dimmed. Or maybe I'm just getting older. Still, I once thought of myself as someone who stood up for the people. I made mistakes. I hurt them. But what? who else do they have? I need to do better. Not for the Defias. But for Westfall. I will have my revenge someday. The job's not done yet. Vanessa's care for her people deserves better than a brotherhood of bandits. I'm glad to see them part ways. And as Spymaster, I'm in no small part relieved. Now, Northshire. Peasants can become heroes. There. Perhaps your own journey began in that in, began in that abbey? Yes, it did. It's also a strong, defensible position to attack Stormwind from. We cannot let it fall. Hurry, to Northshire! Sleep with one eye open. I may not be of much help, but I still wish to accompany you to Northshire and stop my father. Wait! Vanessa, we're with you. We didn't join the Defias to steal from innocents. If the Brotherhood wants to follow Duncan down the path of banditry for banditry's sake, we don't want any part of it. We've always walked a fine line. Thank you all. Go home to your families. This isn't your fight anymore. We will never let Stormwind abandon and abuse Westfall again. But this is not the way to do it. Thank you, Hope. It's been a long time since I've gone by that name. I want to know more about that. Was that a nickname that somebody ga special gave her? I don't recall her ever having the nickname of Hope. To the human starting zone! She's on our side, for now. Lot of injured soldiers and recruits here. 
Hey! The trainers are like standing guard, including Bao, the monk trainer. There's Brother Niels, there's Sergeant Wilhelm. Marshal McBride, of course. King's honor, friend. This is the guy I think you first talked to when you first created a human character. By the light, Genix, is that really you? Look at you! Look at how far you've come! You must be the greatest hero in all Stormwind! Mm, not quite. Well, he wipes a proud tear from his eye. I'm happy. I get to brag that I had any part in your training and recruitment. Keep on making Stormwind proud, hero. Go with honor, friend. We must help. Look to the We're shadows. too late. Cussington has hauled himself up inside the Abbey and is spreading the chaotic influence of the amulet all over Northshire. I don't think most of the people here know the difference between friend and foe anymore. This man seems like the type to have a backup plan. Those agents must have a way to get past Clessington's barrier. Take them out and look for anything useful. Sleep with one eye open. Well met. It's good to see you again, Recruit. I wish you were in better circumstances. Whatever this influence is, anybody with half a, gr half a grudge now thinks it's worth spilling blood over. Not to mention all the defiant bandits and the hired thugs. At this rate, more soldiers from Stormwind will only create more confusion. From what I've seen, you can knock the sense back into most of these people. If they keep fighting you after their eyes have cleared, do what you must. They m they have made their choice. Be careful. We saw Clessington use the amulet in Moonbrook. Its pull was like hunger for chaos and power. My father will use it to spark an insurrection and bring down his political rivals. He's spoken of this plan for years, but I never thought he would actually go through with it. Even if we know he was behind it all, could he use the amulet to make us forget? To make us think he was in the right? He must be stopped. Take a moment here to eat some of this conjured food I made. Nom, 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 nom. I am, after all, just a squishy little mage. I've entertained the idea of like what it would be like to main a mage in expansion. I mean, would, I think it would certainly be uh, helpful and useful because I like the things that they bring to a table, such as bringing conjured food for my healer in a dungeon that they can use as water to get their mana back during a dungeon run, being able to open portals, have the arcane intellect buff.
out of range. I like how the name of this quest is, what's their problem? I need a target. more enforcers we gotta take care of. Now maybe it's just scaling, but that seemed to do a decent amount of damage. Plus it looks cool, you know? And maybe that's also one of the reasons why at times it's like, well, I haven't uh, taken a mage to like higher level stuff because you're expected to play specific builds are considered the more optimal uh, builds for damage. And sometimes they just don't equal abilities that you actually like, you know? One more enforcer. Which I, of course, need to wait until they respawn. It's Shaw. Matthias Shaw. We'll take anyone that we can and heal them up, even if we have to tie some down. Sure hope that magic doesn't have any lasting effects. For the Alliance. I thought I saw you glance in my direction. The job's mm, not done It looks yet. like these might be able to combine somehow. Look to the shadows. I want to help. 
I'm no great mage like my father, but I do know a few of his tricks. I saw those signets that you got off the enforcers. My father's private chambers were locked by a similar magical trinket, which can be broken apart into pieces. Let me put those signets back together into an arcane key. That should get us past the barrier. Then, I can only hope that we can talk some sense into him. Watch yourself. With your help, friend, I think we can take down that barrier. Slow down, rich girl. You'll get yourself killed. Maybe you should start calling her by her name, Vanessa. Father, enough! Is your lust for power really worth all this pain? Cecilia, you've never understood. Onyxia promised our family power. We deserve to rule! I've waited long enough. The kingdom will be mine! Feel the power of Onyxia! Ding! You cannot resist me! You cannot fight back! Come, Defiance! Rich man, we're not giving up. No, I will rule. I will be king. Come, fools, fight, fight. No more, father. Please, please, just stop. Never! Never! Sorry, I need a moment. He was not a good man, but he was still my father. For all yours. Um. Uh, forgive me, but I think if I recall, I think that's the first time I've ever actually heard Onyxia have a voice. Like, they didn't have that much voice acting back in the days of Vanilla. Even if you go to the Onyxia raid now, and keep in mind they actually redid the raid, or rather they, um, they, I think, they, uh, a revamped the Onyxia raid back in Wrath. But even then, it's not like they gave her voice acting lines in the raid. And she didn't have any lines when uh, Nefarian brought her back in Cataclysm for that raid. So, as far as I can recall, Onyxia has never actually had a voice. I mean, she had lines of dialogue, but it weren't, but they weren't voiced. But I w are we actually about to hear like Onyxia make some kind of strange return and have a voice actress? Which I'm like, hmm, I'd be down for that. What needs done? So it is done. I would have liked to have questioned the man more, but the power was too much for him. We cannot allow the amulet to end up in anyone else's hands. Claim it, Janix, and we shall ensure that it's safe return to Stormwind together. The job's not done yet.
The jewel is surprisingly dull and the metal oddly light. Oh, wait. Let's talk more action. Wait, did I not pick it up? <laughs> sure, let me let me go ahead and collect that appearance. <laughs> Yes? I'm sorry, there isn't much that I can do to... to fight. Or even to heal. My father is a respected mage and tried to teach me, but I was always more interested in books and making sure that our family accounts were in order. I regret that now. I may not be able to cast any spells or wield a great sword, but if any of these attackers get to me, I'll give them the best wallop that I've got. I thought I saw you glance in my Here you go, Shaw. Wait. Something isn't right. Vanessa. Noticed my little sleight of hand, did you? No way I'm leaving something like this for Stormwind. The Drakefire amulet is mine now. I don't think so, Van Cleef. Hand it over. Look to the shadows. What? What's happening? The control I could give you, you only have to take it. You cannot resist. Kill them all. Take it for yourself. It's Onyxia. Her will lingers over that amulet. Over all of us. Some long-dead dragon thinks she can manipulate me? I don't think so. I've had enough of this worthless trinket! No! Power! Consume all! Take it all! Your power is gone, and your legacy is broken, Snake. what it's always going to be for our people. To be manipulated by great unknown powers time and time again. And to overcome them time and time again. Words are petty. Right away. I'm tired, Janix. I am tired of the constant battles. Nope, by the way, she actually took took off her mask for a moment here. We actually get to see her face. Because usually the her, her her the bottom half of her face is covered. I'm tired of being manipulated, abandoned, and hurt. All of our people are. I miss the person that I used to be. A simple girl who wanted to follow her father's footsteps and help her home in the same stride. The girl who thought that was possible. I suppose I owe you some thanks. You've given me much to think about. Nothing will stand in my way. We fight in the shadows. This mission ended up being far more than any of us expected, and you did very well. I shudder to think of what would have happened without you here. Some time back, the King commissioned a set of armor to be made. Armor to adorn our greatest heroes. You have proven yourself more than deserving of such honor. Meet me in the Valley of Heroes. Sleep with one eye open. Your father died. Right in front of you. Because of us. Yes. But he chose to walk a path of evil. His death was his own doing. And I have no 
desire to carry on his legacy. A father's legacy? Maybe I too should find my own path. Not... my father's. SI-7 could always use a capable agent such as yourself. <laughs> in your dreams, Shaw. In the past, I got caught up in the desire for vengeance. But I always wanted to help the people of Westfall. Perhaps it is time Hope Saldean passed out bowls of soup again. If you don't mind, I think I would like to join you for that. Can I just say, what great character development for Vanessa Van Cleef in this questline, given what we have known from her in the past, and that it kind of went from her referring to her as just rich girl to them kind of bonding over what happened with her father, because, well, Vanessa would know. She can relate. Hope Saldean. Interesting. I'm not really sure what to think of that. Oh, hey, level one mage. Hey, Don. They're like, what the heck are these high level players doing here? You'll see someday. You'll see. Please tell me we're going to give a, uh, a statue to Windsor. Please tell me he's getting a statue here. Trollbane, Wildhammer, Cadgar, and Illyria. And Terralion, but no Windsor. It's Shaw. Matthias Shaw. With your help, we have stopped Clessington from bringing chaos and violence into Stormwind. Go, hero. Approach General Hammond Clay and accept the greatest honor that Stormwind can bestow. Shaw... Ragged John wanted a memorial for Windsor. Did he now? Well, he's right. Against all odds, Marshal Reginald Windsor helped us stop Onyxia once again. This time, from beyond the grave. I will see to it that we place something on his grave to honor him. Too often we fail to recognize the deeds of our heroes until they are gone. We want to change that with you. I wonder if that means now there's going to be something at his grave, which I'll have to, I guess I'll have to go find. I'm ready. The job's not done yet. People of Stormwind, bear witness today to the deeds of this champion, who has stood valiantly against the many foes that would threaten our fair city. For their courage, we honor our champion as Lion Guard, defender of Stormwind and all her people. Rise, and light bless you, Lion of Stormwind! Greetings. You have done so much for this city. Thank you, hero. Wear this armor with pride. Light bless you. Looks like three different versions. The Lion's Heritage. So it looks like you can have a red one, a kind of gray one, and of course, a blue one. Very fitting of the colors of the Alliance and Stormwind. I'll be honest, I'm not, uh, I mean, the red one's all right. I'm not too fond of this gray one, though. If it looked more silver, like, like the gauntlets and the boots there, like if the rest of this here was like that silver color, I think it would 
probably look kind of cool. But it looks a little bit more gray than actual, like, silver. You know what I mean? It doesn't really, like, make me go, ooh. And I think that's, like, I wish that um, the rest of this part here, like, matched this blue here. Just a little bit of a gripe, honestly. It obviously is a little different from the usual guard armor because we can't exactly be wearing the armor of the city guards. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use this one, then. We'll go ahead and put that on. Oh, I have just the thing, Wanderer. It actually fits well with the uh, the man War Mantle of the Alliance cloak that you can that you can get from BFA. It works pretty well. I'm not sure if this is like the best thing for a mage to wear, but you know I could see like my warrior wearing this. Some other human classes maybe, but. Uh, I think it's fine. Like, I think I, I like it, but I don't love it. You know, I actually think that. So, as I expected, and keep in mind, I've already done the orc one uh, instead of this one. So, let me also go ahead and I guess. Now, already, he already has the buff. Um, I like this set. I don't love it like I do the orc one. This is not horde bias, just because I'm more of a horde player than an alliance player. I just kind of like the orc one more so. Uh, not, you know, both the armor, but also the quest line. I felt like the quest line really um, was tapping into what was the heritage of the orc people and such from Draenor. Whereas this one was more so about, let's recap some of the things from Vanilla WoW about why back in the days of Vanilla, it was actually pretty cool and fun to play on the side of the Alliance more so than the Horde because they had these kind of these storylines, including what we just experienced about Windsor and Onyxia and all that. In fact, gosh, let's... I'm going to try and see if I can actually remember, because it's not, like... Obviously, Varian's thing is over here, but I don't think, like, some of the other characters' memorials are over here. Now, this should, like... If you're going to have a place for, like, memorializing people, like, here are the names for, like, um, those who died in the Battle of the Broken Shore. That's from Legion. And then there's this whole garden here, and then you've got the memorial for Varian. But this is not like the cemetery or for those that have fallen that they honor. I think it's more so actually over here. Like, I know we can actually find... Yeah, so like you'll see over here it's more so the actual like, you know, graves and such. It's just a little uh, tricky to try and see if we can actually find which ones are actually here in terms of which characters. Now, maybe these are just kind of generic, regular, you know, tombs that are not actually like marked for anyone in particular got a couple of NPCs here that I guess are for somebody else. But you'll notice that there's not too many that are actually marked for players to look at. It is a nice touch that there are some NPCs here that are like visiting some of their loved ones' uh, graves. I think that's a really nice touch. But, you know, I'm getting at the, the, the point that there's not too much here when it comes to uh, stuff for the players to actually check out and look at. You know what I mean? Like, how would I know which, like, I think that actually may be the one for Tiffin over there. Or for, yeah, for Tiff Rin, uh, Varian's wife. But it's like, how would I know where Windsor's memorial is? Or where his uh, grave is? Now, let's check what this is. It doesn't even say. Just like, who is this for? It doesn't seem to say. Huh. Now, there's a bunch of just generic uh, tombstones here, and then there's a couple that are just kind of like over here. But are any of these, like, marked? Because it doesn't look like there's anything to say, this is for such and such. I recall there was one for Tiff, because, of course, she was Varian's wife. Of course they would have one for her. But other than that, it's not like I can actually see where the one for Windsor is. Ah, here it is. 
Yeah, it's very elaborate. So yeah, this is definitely the one for her. Tiffin Ellerian Wren Memorial. Queen of Stormwind, fair and just, a, a wit as quick as her smile. May the light inherit your warmth, for our world grows cold in your absence. The problem is, she's one of the only characters that actually has one of those kinds of memorials here in Stormwind for players to actually go see and be like, here's a memorial for this character. And I'm thinking, okay, um, if we actually are going to have something for Windsor, where is it? Like, I would love for there to be something there where he's like, if you want to go see it, it's located at such and such, or like you could actually have it marked on your map. Otherwise, it's just kind of like, well, I guess I'm trying to find something similar to it. I do wonder, though, like, would this guard, like, if I asked him, like, hey, by the way. What can I do for you? Nope. Like, you can't ask about, like, hey, where is such and such as a grave or memorial? And he'll be like, oh, it's actually right over there, you know? If they really want to play up the idea of that we are honoring characters from the past that were heroes and such, like, we just had a thing asking him, hey, can you make something for Windsor? And he was like, yeah, sure. But then we don't really have anything to actually come here and look at. Ah, wait, I found it. It's just not very well marked, but it is actually here. So it looks like we actually do have something here. In honor of Reginald Windsor, who gave his life in defense of Stormwind. Not as elaborate as uh, Tiff's over there, but, you know, that's to be expected. But, yeah, it's like, oh, okay, so if I just kind of come in here and see, like, this area set up right here, I'll be able to actually find it here, so. So, I guess there's only one thing left to do, which is... I was letting the bell toll um, during that moment, so I thought it was kind of a nice timing there, so I guess this is where we'll go ahead and end it. Um, pretty good quest line. Really, I did like it. Not as much as the orc one, but I did like it. Um, and I do like this this uh, armor set. Not quite as much as the orc one, but it's. I'm glad to have it for my human characters, so I'm glad we finally got it. So... You know, I'm thinking to myself, now what other heritage armors have they not added yet? Um, the Draenei don't have one. The Undead don't have one. Uh, or rather, the Forsaken don't have one. Um, that's something I'd expect later on now with what they're doing with the Forsaken storyline. Uh, we don't have a Pandar in heritage armor yet. I hope for that at some point. Um, hmm. Like, obviously, we have them for the, um, the allied races, but they don't show it for the other ones, like the one for, I got for the dwarf, for the worgen. Hmm. We have yet to have a, uh, a troll heritage armor. That's uh, that's another one that doesn't have one yet. Um, I'm, I'm going in my mind the different races to see whether or not they have a heritage armor. Hmm. The Tauren have one. The goblins have one. The dwarves have one. The gnomes have one. I'm trying to think of any other races that may not have a heritage armor. Oh, the Night Elves. <laughs> Sorry. So there you go. There's four races that uh, I re let's rec recount four races I just thought of that don't have heritage armors yet that we have to hope and wait they add later on. The Trolls, the Forsaken, the Pandaren, and the Night Elves. 
Now keep in mind, one of those can join either the Alliance or the Horde. And I'm trying to think, huh. Oh, and the Draenei. That's another one, the Draenei. So that's five. That's five we still don't have, and hopefully they will add at some point. So anyways, we'll go ahead and end it here with us paying our respects to one of the greatest heroes in the history of the Alliance, Windsor. Thank you for giving your life to help us take down Onyxia. This was the Human Heritage Armor questline. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, remember, if you want to be able to go through this and earn this yourself, have a human character at level 50 and be exalted with Stormwind. I will see you guys next time.